Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today I'm going to show you how to get the latest version of Windows, the version 20 H2, on your device before its October release. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so today's video will be showing you how to update your version of Windows 10 to the latest update, which is the October version, which is known as 20H2. Very easy to do. All you need to do is update to the Windows Insider program. And it doesn't mean you're stuck in there. You can, as soon as you've done this update, you can revert back and not get any beta updates or any updates that will be prior to the actual release candidates. So let's go to the PC and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so on your Windows PC, Ideally, you want to be on the latest version, which currently is version 2004. If you're not on there already, it might be worth updating already, otherwise this will take considerably longer. The Windows 2004 actually does have a lot of the updates baked into it already, but not activated. So to update from 2004 up to 20H2 will be pretty painless. So first of all, click on the settings and then go to update and security. And then we want to go down to the Windows Insider program. This will take a few moments. And it says there, join the Windows Insider program to get preview builds of Windows and provide feedback, etc. Get started. And you have to link an account, which is your Microsoft account. So select your account, then click continue. And then you get to choose your Insider settings. Now, I would strongly recommend not using the dev or beta channel and just go with the release preview channel. This will give you the latest version, which is about to release. Click confirm. And it says about uh, a better Windows for everyone. So yeah, read this and when you're done, click on confirm and it says one more step to go. Thanks for participating in the Windows Insider program. We need to restart your PC so that you can get your Insider preview builds. So you can click on restart now. If you're not too confident how this is all going to pan out, then it is definitely worth doing a backup of your system before you do this. So if you want to make a backup quickly before you go ahead and do this, click on restart later and then you can do a quick backup. But if you're happy that you've got all your important files done, this machine that I'm doing it on is just basically a test machine. So it's absolutely fine. I've got nothing to lose on here. So I'm going to click on restart now. Now, once the PC is rebooted, what we can do now is click on the Windows Start flag, then go into Settings again, then go into Update and Security. And then at the moment, it'll say you're up to date, but click on Check for Updates. This will take a little while. And eventually, you'll come up with this. So at the moment, there's actually another update, a security update. And also we've got the option here for feature update to Windows 10 version 20H2 or the October update. So click on download and install. And now you can sit back, have a cup of tea and wait for it to download. It should only be around about 300 megabytes. So it shouldn't take very long if you're on Windows 2004. If you're on a prior version, then it will take considerably longer. Once it's got to the status downloading 100%, it will then do the verification and begin the installation process. Like I said before, a lot of this is actually baked into Windows 2004 already, so it's just a matter of actually enabling the features. Now, if you want a full list of the features, I will put a link in the video description so you can check out all the updates in this October 20H2 version. There isn't a great deal. A lot of it is cosmetic and a few bug fixes. There are no major changes. This is what we like to refer to as the TikTok update process. So the tick is normally the big update and the talk is normally bug fixes and patches. So this is definitely the talk, the second part of the year. Okay, so when the files are updated and Windows is installed, etc., it will come up with this message saying uh, restart is required. You can either schedule the restart if it's inconvenient, uh, but for our particular purposes, we're gonna go ahead and do it now. Obviously make sure any other programs which are open are closed before you click on restart now. You'll get to the point with the blue screen, not the uh, blue screen of death, but the blue screen of potential upgrade and saying configure Windows updates. At this point, don't turn off your computer, just let it do what it needs to do. 
After a quick restart, it should carry on the configuring updates process. And there we go. So now we're on the latest version of Windows. We go into System now. This is actually one of the places where there is a very slight change. So it says about your PC and it now says the Windows 10 Pro on 20H2 and when it was installed. And we've now got options to actually copy this data. So if you're doing some kind of diagnostic work on a PC and you need to copy this information to give to provider or IT support, especially on this bit here, you can just click on copy or you can click on copy there and then you can paste it into another application. There are other features which have been enabled. Uh, there's a new Skype feature for quick calls. And also you should find that your start menu looks a little bit different now. We've now got the kind of context aware menu and also you should find you've got a lot of the new icons and all those kind of cool desktop features. And a lot of these animations actually do work a little bit better now. You should find as well some of these tabs over here should look a little bit different also. I don't have many on there, so obviously there's not much to change. But essentially, uh, yeah, there's a few under the hood changes, a few cosmetic ones and a few actually helpful ones, such as being able to copy information from your system specs, etc. But for full information of what is available in the update, follow the links in the video description. But that is pretty much it. So what we want to do now is we actually want to stop getting all these updates. So now what we do is go back to home, go into update and security, and in the Windows Update section, choose Windows Insider Program again, and we've got an option here for Stop Getting Preview Builds. So turning this on will opt your device out of flighting when the next major update of 10 is released. So I'm going to click on there. So now we are Stop Getting Preview Builds. If you want to, you can actually remove yourself from the Windows Insider after you've done this, and it shouldn't cause you any problems. Uh, personally, I've always left this on. It doesn't seem to make any difference if it's on or not for me. And obviously you can get latest updates when you are a member of the Insider Club or Insider Program. So there we go. There is how to update to the October update, a little bit ahead of schedule. So if you want that Windows 20 H2 on your system, you cannot bear to be without it. There is a really easy way of getting it. It doesn't take very long at all. The update is pretty quick. Nowhere near as bad as the larger, more intense feature updates. So let me know what you think of the new Windows 20 H2 when you get to use it. Put it in the comment section below. It'd be interested in what your thoughts are. And for those of you who are kind of, well, why do I want to update Windows? There are features in there baked in under the hood, which do actually make it slightly more reliable. And actually, even on this just quick usage on two of my PCs here at Mike's Unboxing, I have found Windows to be a little bit more snappy in use. So let me know if you find the same. So there we go. There's how to update Windows. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews now too. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.